Hello YouTube, Chester Boyer, and today we're going to look at the RKF Ride Armor Series 5 Ghost Armor. So, this is the fifth entry in the Comer, the, the, uh, the Ride Armor Series line that's part of the Ride Kicks figure uh, line. And this pays tribute to Comer Ghost. So, so let's look at the package real quick. Um, you see we got Comer Gates Ghost Armor. I guess we got Comer Gates inside it. Um, so yeah, very nice. Here's Comer Gates Ghost Armor. And here's the back. And here's Kummer Geo Ghost Armor, which we'll show that later in the video. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Alright, so here's what you get out of the packaging. You got two masks, one for Geo, one for Gates. The armor piece. The arm guards, the GQ driver with two ride watches, the leg armor, and you got two accessories. You got the G Con Gear Raid in Jew mode or gun mode. Um, and we got the G Con Zax in Yumi mode. So, so first, so right off the bat, we're gonna go we're gonna go over the two accessories the two accessories they come with right off the bat, and then we'll get to the armor. So give me one second. Alright, so let's take a look at the two weapons up close. Um, you can see we got the G Con the G-Con uh, Gear Raid in gun mode. Um, you can see it's all black. Um, and of course we've got some nice detail. we got the word Jew on there in katakana, which means gun. So Jew, you, u. So, so yeah, very neat. And of course here's the G-Con Zax in Yumi mode, which is a bow, a bow and arrow. Now it's kind of hard to see, but it says you, me on the side right there. So you, me, so. So yeah, and let's bring, come, let's bring in Geo, and uh, make sure you stand up right, and Gates, so bring those up, alright, so let's put the g cog right in Jew mode in there, so just push it in and twist it, there you go, so there we go, so you got Geo holding the g cog right in, in gun mode, now Comrade Gates is a bit strange, um, because normally in the show he would hold it from, from here. Which you can actually do that, but it does hold like at an awkward angle. So basically you at for the instructions say you have to put it in like this. So Yeah, so it's not the best. But oh well. So um So yeah. So now I got all the accessories out of the way. Let's take a look at the ghost armor. Now I'm gonna be showing off the gates, the gates version, because just for show accuracy's sake. So, because you know he was the first one to use the ghost armor, so in the first episode. So, so yeah. So let's take a look up close. So starting with the, the head, you see we got ghost in hiragana. Well, it says ghost in hiragana. Um, of course, we got the chest piece. We got the two um, shoulder pads, which, well, I should say armor, rather. And yes, they do resemble um, icons, which were the key collectibles for Conrad Ghost. So, and the rest, it looks pretty bland. Um, now, one little nitpick out of this is the, um, if, you've seen the if you've seen the episode where the ghost armor thing sh showed up, there was supposed to be like some, like some orange decals on the legs right here. Those are not present on this toy. So, if you want to get what I, if you want to illustrate the point, I actually have, um, the Ghost Oridamachi figure from the Ghost Change series. And you can see there's the leg um, decals I'm talking about, like these right here. Kind of resemble bones, if you look at them. Yeah, they're matching missing, which I felt that easily could have been stickers. Um, so, yeah. Uh, let me just bring it up a little bit. There we go. Alright. Yeah, you can see it's a, it, this figure's a bit taller than the, uh, the armor. <laughs> so, um, yeah. Um, and speaking of stickers, this does come with a sticker sheet. One for gate, one for geo, two for gates. So we can see there's two right here. One, two. So yeah, just want to show that off. Um, and here's the back side, which is the, the geo side. You can see it's just you can see um, you can see the silver paint on the back kind of breaks up the whole the whole blandness of the uh, the black color. So um, yeah. And of course here's the Here's the mask it, up close. We've got Go Suto, Ghost in in Katakana. Um, so yeah, and one thing that's neat, it does keep the uh, the wisp horn that's on the that's on the helmet. Again, just like with Comer Ghost Oridamashi. 
That's actually pretty neat. You know, it would have been nice if it was painted blue on the inside. That would have been great, but oh well, that's just how it is. So, so now we're gonna now for shark sure UC's sake, we're gonna we're gonna combine this thing with Kamara Gates. All right, so I prepped Kamara Gates, so I just removed the GQ driver and the two of my watch um, holders that were on the arms. So, let's so remove those, put them off the side. Okay, so actually we're gonna keep it here. All right, so I'll just take this apart. Oh. Alright, let's go and put in the arm pe the uh, leg pieces. So plug that on. There we go, plug that on. Just like that. And go ahead and plug the chest on. So open those up. Put it from the back. Alright. Alright, there we go. And flip up the icon shoulders. Like that, and um, and just want to point this out real quick. The um, the arm guards that came with the set is the same exact mold as the build armor. So just want to point that out. So so you don't have to worry about getting those mixed up with the build armor. These with mixed up with the build armor. So yeah, again they're just the same mold. So just plug them on. It's that easy. So just plug that on. Put those down, and then plug the and plug the gates uh, ghost. Um, mask on and one more oh one more thing put on the jiku driver with the two ride watches all right there we go and there you have cumber gates ghost armor and uh yeah looks okay i mean i like how the right kind of breaks up the whole black um black color scheme which it's actually pretty neat um so yeah this is okay um Again, I'd like to start off with Cumber Gates Ghost Armor just for show accuracy's sake. Because, in, you, because, you know, I did say this before again. I know I had to pre repeat myself. But, um, of course, we've we seen the first episode of the Cumber GL um, where he used to ghost ride watch to summon the ghost armor. And we got the we got Cumber Gates Ghost Armor. So, yeah. No. Now, he doesn't have any suit equipped weapons. Like um like the build armor had like a drill weapon and cover X the X8 armor had like like Gachicon breaker looking boxing gloves. Well this one, um he his shoulder pads are basically a weapon. It basically what it does, it summons um Parka ghosts out of the icon shoulders, like to be used as reinforcements. So yeah. That's pretty much what all it does, really. However, for the toy, you can't actually make a you can actually equip him a weapon, so just like for example, you could put the the Gashcon's the 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 Gcon Zax in Yumi mode on this side, on this hand, and uh, yeah, or if you want, you can put the Gcon Zax in Ono mode, so just like that. So yeah, you could do that. Um, Now, when I see all these, all this, um, all this exposed um, red bits going on here, it kind of reminds me of Comrade Ghost Tokon Busanji, which, which, there you go. Um, so yeah, he kind of looks like Tokon Busanji, but not quite. You know, it's not intended to be um, an homage to this, but, but um, yeah. So that's that. All right, so now see, now see what it looks like with Conrad Geo. All right, so for Conrad Geo, same setup as Gates. Remove the Jika driver and remove the two of our watch holders. That's it. And then we can go ahead and put the leg armor on and make sure the silver the silver paint is facing towards the front. So just like that. Which, again, the leg armor is the same mold as the um, the X8 and build armor sets. So, yeah. Okay, so. So go ahead and put this on the front, and make sure to clip it all to the back. Um, and there's one additional step, um, is that you have to swap these two um, shoulder pieces around. So pop those off. Uh, make sure this one, this one's a bit hard to get out than the other. Okay. Okay. So at least they do pop apart a bit easier than the build armor shoulder pads that you have to swap to make um, Cumber Gates build armor. 
Which speaking of that, the gate, the Comrade Gates build armor um, form is actually canon. So just want to point that out. It it did, it did appeared recently once in the show. So so far. Um, so yeah. Okay, so those are swapped. Um, and then just put the arm guards as usual. Again, make sure making sure the the silver paint is is toward the front. And make sure these are lined up correctly. Okay, there we go. Put the Jika driver on. Let's get that in there. And then, and then put the and then put this mask on. The one with the ghost in here in Katakana. And they have Kamar Geo ghost armor. And uh, yeah, I mean, it kind of brings more color because of the silver paint. Um, not to say that not to say the Gates version is bad, but but yeah, it's just how it is. I mean. Oh, I forgot to point out the articulation. Um, it's pretty much the same as the the gates armor, which I did forget to point that out. But let's just show off anyway. The um, the head kind of moves a little bit because of the mask. Um, the shoulders can swing out to the side. You have to make sure you have to move the shoulder pad out of the way. The arms can go forward, then can go backward. There's a ninety degree bend to the elbow. No ab, cr no ab crunch. Um, the legs can go forward. They can go back a little bit. There's the knee. And of course, there's the ankle. So yeah. Um. So yeah. Um. Now, you can't put weapons in. You can't put weapons, even though he doesn't have any suit equipped weapons, aside from the icon shoulders, which I did point out. Um. In the in this um, early in the review. So yeah. So you can't make him hold the G-Con gear raid in jute in gun mode. So yeah, you can do something like that. Or the or the the sword mode. So, so, yeah. Now whether this this form is going to be canon into the, in the show in the future, um, that's up to the writers. So, um, so yeah. And there we go. So overall, um, the ghost armor is okay. Um, it's not perfect by any means. Um, and uh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, there's that little nitpick I have like there was like missing um missing paint applications on like, on this one. But that's easy to to pass. That's easy for your mind to pass by. I mean if you're a fan of Cumber Ghost and you're a fan of this form, then by all means get this thing. Um again, it's more fun. It's you know more playable when you have the the Geo um figure right here. Um so yeah. And you can see what I'm doing I'm trying to do is um I was trying to make their hands kinda of like they're doing the Omega Drive, which is um Cumber Goat's rider. Rider kick move, um, so yeah, or or in this case for Conrad Gates, the Omega Time Burst, I should say. <laughs> so, um, so yeah, it's the best I could do. Um, so yeah, I do recommend this if you're a fan of the Rider Kicks figure line, or in this case, the Ride Armor series line, like myself. Yeah, I'm, I'm kind of having a blast with this line so far. Um, so yeah, I do I do recommend picking this up. So the next so the next review is going to be the RKF Rider Series Forza Armor. So thank you for watching. Um, if you like what you saw, make sure you hit the subscribe button, hit the bell icon next to it if you want to catch to my latest reviews. You can follow my Twitter and like my Facebook page. The links are down below. So I will catch you next time. This is the, this is Tristan Boy saying my time is out. <laughs>